afternoon, everyone. The establishment of Israeli civilian settlements in the West Bank is not, per se, inconsistent with international law in the history of the world. Very proud of the team. Thank you, Morgan. The Trump administration is reversing the Obama administration's approach towards Israeli settlements. U.S. public statements on settlement activities in the West Bank have been inconsistent <coughs> over decades. That this position, that's reversal of the previous administration's position. We're not addressing or prejudging the ultimate status of the West Bank. This is for the Israelis and the Palestinians to negotiate. International law does not compel a particular outcome nor create any legal obstacle to a negotiated resolution. Right when she was appearing, saying that everything, uh, everywhere that she went turned bad. Um, is it an assessment that you agree with? Well, I, I must say, sadly, uh, there hasn't been much support for Israel in the, in the years leading up to this. It's hard to imagine more isolation, unfortunately, at the UN as a result of this decision. We've, we've been challenged to convince nations all across the world to stand up for the uh, people of Israel uh, and the, the, their nation's right to exist. Uh, so, I, no, I, I don't think this increases that. And how do you bring the Palestinians to the negotiation table, considering your decision today? You know, we've had a, lo a long time uh, with the policy, the legal interpretation announced today being the other way, and it didn't work. <laughs> that, that is, that's a fact and evidence. Uh, we, we believe that what we've done today is we've recognized the reality on the ground. We've now declared that settlements are not per se illegal under international law, and we have provided the very space that your question suggests, the very space for Israel and the Palestinians to come together to find a political solution to this very, very vexing problem. We, th we think, in fact, we've increased the likelihood that the uh, vision for peace that this administration has, uh, we, we think we've created space for that to be successful. I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to move forward on that uh, before too terribly long. Not to declare these settlements per se illegal. Um, does that also apply to East Jerusalem, or is that primarily just the West Bank? It applies. We're making, as the president said when he made the decision about Jerusalem, the final status, those boundaries will be, uh, will not be determined until the parties reach a resolution. And then are you and concerned? And so there's no, in that sense, go ahead. Yes. Are you also concerned about the timing, given that the deadline for Benny Gantz to, to form a government is, is Wednesday? Is there a concern about the, the timing of this announcement, perhaps affecting domestic politics in Israel? You know, we've, we've told the team that was doing this review now for uh, quite some time, we've told them, do your work. Do it thoroughly. Do it completely. When we have the analysis correct, when we reach a final decision, we will, we will provide that analysis and we'll, we'll share that with the world. So the timing of this was not tied to anything that had to do with uh, domestic politics anywhere in Israel or otherwise. This was about we, we were done, we finished, we'd conducted our review, and this was the appropriate time to move forward. Can, 